Hi, it's Our Lady J, and I'm here with Karen de la Pina Collison to talk about her Nicole winning script, Coming of Age. Which is set in 1965 Britain, where a 14 year old sheltered schoolgirl is catapulted into the tumultuous backstage world of the bedroom fast tour her mother stage manages, where she experiences a scandalous sexual awakening. Hello. Hello. I really enjoyed reading your script. You read it? I did, of course. Thoroughly entertained and went on a lovely journey. What is the most challenging part of writing for you? When I get a note, I love getting notes. I, I did journalism in one of my, my incarnations and I just thought, oh, this is fantastic. People are saying, edit that out. And I go, why? And then I realize, oh, that's so much better. But, so I've always loved that. I'm glad that you said you love getting notes. I, it's one of my favorite things as well, as long as I have a, a relationship of trust with the person who's giving the note. Sometimes, um, you do have to push back on a note if your experience is uh, very specific. I've discovered that that my truth is more my boss than anybody else. Beautifully said. It's also easier if you present options with saying no, I found. You know, getting a round of notes and going through them all and, and one standing out is like, I, I don't think that works. But here's something else. How, what about this scene? So I have uh, heard a lot about the spectre of, of the pitching. It's really just another way of performing. Um, as an actor, I'm sure you will know, you'll be familiar and comfortable with pitching once you get the first few out of the way. At okay. first, it's very nerve wracking. Can I ask you about like a eureka moment that you found while working on this script that allowed you to break a story? I, I don't think I had any big ahas, uh -huh, you know, except in terms of, oh, I see how I can solve that. Oh, I see it. No way I can go there. I think one of the reasons maybe there wasn't a real eureka moment in the script of yours is that the characters are developed so well. Often when you spend time on characters and really give them life and understand their backstory and the choices that they would make, those choices become very easy and very clear. When you set them all in a room, if you have you know four characters you've developed and then you bring them all in a room together, you're just gonna watch them talk to each other and then you're gonna translate whatever That's they're true. saying, right? That's true. What went into creating these characters? You said part of it was based on folks that you knew. I started in the family environment of my childhood, which was not an easy childhood, but when I started to write, I discovered how much joy there was there. And certainly that wasn't anything that I expected. Horowitz, uh, the p classical pianist, once said that pianists shouldn't practice more than two or three hours a day because it's living that creates the artist. And it sounds like you've done a lot of living in order to bring those characters alive. And it, it really reads and it's really beautiful. Thank you. I really ex enjoyed every moment of, of reading it and chatting with you as well. I have no doubt that you will be very successful and I look forward to everything that's to come. Thank you so much. Take care. She was as lovely as I expected her to be. I'd love to be in her presence more and maybe, maybe uh, life will present that opportunity. We'll see.